Hi. Today we're going to be looking at the CSV import export. Basically the configurations is what we're going to go over today. So let's go right into that. Um, assuming you've logged into the back end of your Specialty Toys Network website, we're going to first go to the shopping cart. From the shopping cart we're going to go to products, CSV import export. And here is our import export tab where we do actions, but we all want to take a look today at the first of all the configuration. Configuration is where you set um, the import and export fields and order that you can use uh, for sending files. You don't always have to use it, but in a lot of cases you want to. First of all, um, the list left hand column here is a drop menu of the available fields that you can select from. You just scroll up and down, select a field. Um, you can't have duplicate versions of the field, so you can't have field name here and then select it again here. Each one of these has to be a unique ID. Um, and then the other thing you'll need to do is set a unique ordering number on these. So make sure when you're setting these that these are always sequential. Um, it really doesn't hurt to have yes as a required field in everything. So let's take a look at managing these. Let's say you wanted to export only um, the SKU, which is a required field, and you don't need a discount ID here. We can just come into our configuration and we'll delete discount ID. It's not actually deleting any data, it's just deleting the configuration record for that um, export. System pops back to the entry page. We can go to the configuration, and again, we see that we have SKU name and stock and price. I like to go ahead and make sure that these are sequential. It will save those changes. And now we've got those four fields ready for import or export. So let's take a look at that now. I'm going to go back to my export tab, and I'm going to use the standard Excel delimiters, which is comma and quotation mark. I'm going to use my custom ordering here during my export settings. This right hand column here is the export settings. So I'm going to use my custom ordering, which is this configuration setting here, my ordering. And I'm going to include the column headers. So we'll get the product SKU, name, in stock, and price as my column headers, making it easier to identify the information. Okay, I've set my settings and I'm going to export this file. Give it just a second here. And I'm running in um, Mozilla Firefox. You may be running in Internet Explorer or another browser, so your interface window may be a little bit different and you may not have the same options. In Mozilla, um, we recommend this browser. It has the most uniform compatibility. Um, one of the nice things here is I can open the file directly. So I'm going to say open with Excel. Excel goes, and I'm going to select all the cells and just double click here to expand them all. So I've got now my column headers, SKU, name, in stock, and price, which is the same settings here I have on the configuration. Okay, let's take another example. Let's say we want to add a new field. I'm going to add a field. Um, what do we want to do this time? I'm going to say I want to add manufacturer name. And I'm going to set its order to number five. And right up here above the add a field options, I hit save changes. And I go back here and I have manufacturer field there in the order I want them. The configuration um, editor is a little bit finicky. Um, it's not really designed to make quick, fast changes on configurations. It's more meant actually to set a configuration um, and leave it that way for ongoing maintenance. So don't get frustrated if you try a few things and it takes a little while jumping back and forth. It's really intended to um, allow you to configure it for uh, ongoing and not make changes on the fly. But now we've got this new manufacturer field name in it, added in. I'm going to again use the same settings exporting to a file. Let me jump right over there. And now you see that we've also got this um, fifth record manufacturer name. It's a great way to get our data in and out of external applications. A couple other things we want to show you here. When you're wanting to import, you can use your configurations, your custom ordering, here in the upload settings. If we see show more settings, 
by default it's set to use column headers as configuration. If you wanted to instead import a file and always make the column structure match your configuration no matter what you have in the data set, you can turn this off and that will use the configuration, excuse me, that will use the configuration settings as your defining role. I personally don't find that much use for it unless you have, let's say, a point of sale report that is always identical, um, in which case it may save you the step of having to go in and label the headers. Okay, so I'm going to turn that back on for my cases. Most cases that's what we'll want to do. Um, the other settings that you can look at here, um, very useful for importing and exporting, are your delimiters and your field enclosure characters. By default, Excel uses the comma and the quotation mark, as we noted, but there are good reasons for using some of these others. This caret symbol and the tilde symbol are very good for exporting certain types of data that have, um, let's say, more difficult characters to manage, such as your full product description. That can contain all kinds of HTML characters, and so these two enclosure records and even the ability to set your own Say you wanted to say, oh, I want to do carrot, 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 and then I want to do tilde, tilde. You can set your own field enclosure and delimiter settings to really customize your um, CSV file. It's no longer comma-separated values, but the delimiters are defined um, in your settings here. In those cases, you won't really be able, able to open it easily in Excel, but you can open it um, in some open often, like select open applications such as Open Office's Calc um, software. It's a free version. Okay. Um, the other thing that we want to look at today is the definition of our different cells. So all these filing following fields here in this third tab are setting up instructions as to what the field is used for, the values, the the um, structure that you want to have on the field. So you know, if you want to use a manufacturer ID, how do you put that in? If you want to use a name, what happens if you put a new name and upload it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, everything from how do you how do you define ages? So, for instance, if you want to set using the default ages, you'd use age range of one for ages zero to one, and then you'd enter them in the record in this structure here: three comma four five six. Okay. Again, these definitions are in the available fields tab, the third tab. Um, that's most of the basics of configuring um, your CSV, and that will do it for this quick lesson on CSV configuration.